coming from your heart, always from your heart and never ever coming from your brain. I remember about 35 years ago, I went to see a chiropractor and he used homeopathics and he wanted to know if certain homeopathic would assist my healing, whatever it was at the time. So he gave me a vial, right? Homeopathics come in small vials. And he said, just hold it, see how it feels for you. No muscle testing, not by me, not by him. Just hold the vial and notice how your body feels. And I did, and it was very obvious my body didn't want it at the time. So what is the point of that? It's your heart that has the knowing. It's your heart that communicates with the energies out in the universe. It's your heart that when you tell the universe what you desire in your life, it's your heart that makes it happen, not your brain, not your mind. If you're coming from your mind, well, think about this. When you go to sleep at night, you have no thoughts, no thoughts, no mind. But even more than that, if you ever hear yourself saying, I think, or I believe, those are all things coming from your ego mind. And what's the job of your ego mind? The job of your ego mind is always keep you stuck, no changes, because it wants to stay in control. It's afraid you're going to eliminate it. So the messages go five times as many to brain, to uh, heart to brain as go brain to heart. And what's really been scientifically studied and backed up for the last probably 10 years or more, you'll see this in heart math, learning about coherence. So it's going on in your heart your heart beat, what you're feeling in your pulse, isn't your heart going boom, 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 boom. It's the wave that's going through your body that's causing the pulse. So your body, your heart is the master of everything going on. Your heart sends the messages up to your brain. Your brain then sends the messages down to your body, and then it's up to the body-brain connection to put it into your conscious awareness so that your body knows, oh, this is what's going on. I remember, oh, as many years ago, I love to read science, I love to read studies, and I was reading about master athletes. Is master the right word? Probably not. People like LeBron James in basketball or Wayne Gretzky in hockey. People in those different sports, they're getting the message coming from their heart on the way to the brain, getting all the signals that are coming from outside the body because there's no such thing as time or space of what's communicating into your heart and into your body. Most of it's going on outside of you and your heart brings it into the awareness. And the studies that I had read back at the time was these people who are very masterful, who are the stars in their sports. What they were doing was about six tenths of a second before other people were making that connection, heart to brain to body. They had it, so they were always in the right place at the right time because they were moving to the place that the messages coming from outside but being known in the heart were telling them where to be when. So if you're coming from your mind, you are actually making up stories. You're not doing anything that's going to allow you to create the life 
that you want to create. And if you're wondering why you're following all the laws and all the so-called directions for how to create, but you're doing it coming from your mind, there's no coherence. So am I talking about coherence? If you've ever been to heart math, you know about the coherence of your heartbeat. And when you're having so-called positive emotions, love, caring, appreciation, gratitude, your heart rhythm is smooth and it's nice sine waves and it's called being in coherence. And when you put yourself first in coherence and then put out the messages to the universe, that's when you manifest the things that you desire, you desire them in your heart. On the other hand, if you're in a mood that's anger or frustration or something that's so-called negative, your heart is not in coherence. And if you're starting from that position and you're attempting to create, to manifest something, it can't happen because the only time you're tuned into the universe that's cooperating with you is when your heart is in coherence. So it's really that simple. It's like when I teach how to speak your affirmations, the very first thing you do is you get into coherence. The very first thing you do is get yourself into a happy place, a place of being in appreciation. Teaching this for a long time, how do you know when to listen to your heart? And by the way, if you've worked with me for, golly gee, I guess it's been about 26 years that I've been teaching do muscle testing. And on my site, I actually tell you how to do muscle testing because the first thing you have to do before you muscle test is make sure your energy's not switched because all kinds of things in your environment cause your energy to switch. And if your muscle testing and your body's energy is switched, you get all the opposite responses of what is true for you. But I don't do that anymore. I just show people, take, if there's something you can take and put it in your energy field, do that. So if it's a food or a beverage or a supplement, just put it in your energy field and just notice. Notice how you feel. If you feel good, if the feelings are pleasant and peaceful and you feel happy, yes, that's your body telling you, this is good for me. But your body's telling you that because your heart told your brain told your conscious awareness, your body. That's what's happening. So all you have to do is ask, and it doesn't have to be a thing. If there's a decision you're looking to make and you're unsure about it, just ask. You can figure it out inside, but go to your heart, not your brain, and notice if I do this, how do I feel? How does this impact me and all the people who will be impacted by this choice? And just observe, just notice. Is it a good feeling? Is it a happy feeling? Or is it not? And if it's not, that's not a choice for you to be doing. So here's what happens when you come from your brain and your thoughts. Your thoughts and what you call your beliefs and what you call your truths, they're not yours at all. When you were a little kid and your brain hadn't developed to the point 
where it could exclude incoming information, where it could refuse to accept incoming information. Your early caretakers, your parents, your siblings, your teachers, anyone in your world who told you something about you, they were creating your thoughts, they were creating your belief systems, and also what you observe as people's behaviors in your environment. All of those because you were exposed to them over and over and over again. You came to the point where they were your beliefs. But more to the point, you started believing that all these things were true. Not true. They're not true. They're other people's opinions. They're other people's behaviors. They are not true for you. And beyond thinking all those things are true, you start accepting them as fact. Well, they're not facts and they're not truths. So when you come from your heart, you're tuning in directly to the universe. Remember, there's only one energy and everything, you, me, the cosmos, everything is made of this one energy. You're tuning into that energy when you're doing it through your heart can't do that when you're coming from your mind. So be aware if you hear yourself thinking, well, I believe, or I think, because that's your ego mind that's keeping you stuck in untruths. Thank you for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. Remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, because nothing in your life happens out there. It all happens within, starting in your heart.